In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to make a custom driver helmet in F1 Manager 24. Hope you find this tutorial helpful and there'll be some more coming up soon. Take it away. So first things first, to familiarize yourself, I would recommend looking at the custom livery tutorial that I did on the channel below. It helps you get an understanding of things a little bit better. So in the description below will be a link to the Patreon where you can find all sorts of good things such as the helmet template, the car template, and eventually the suits as well as anything else related will be on there. You don't need these templates, but it does make life a little bit easier and moving forward if you're trying to do quite a few. It does speed things up quite a bit. We are going to be downloading the F1 Manager 24 helmet template for this video just to make things a little bit easier and for those people who do follow along and who do like using the helmet templates just makes things a little bit more quicker especially if you do quite a lot you're going to need to download WinRAR if you aren't already having WinRAR installed I'm not sure why you're watching this video but I'd imagine I've got a few of you will so make sure you install that as well we need to install Unreal Engine as well make sure it's the right version so on the Epic Games tab if you come to Unreal Engine if you don't have a version that we need which is 5.1.1 in library if you click the little plus at the top it's going to form almost like a, a dummy version of Unreal Engine. You click the drop down and you're able to click whichever version you want. Again, in this case, 5.1.1 is the only version that works. The next thing we're going to be downloading is the F1 helmet file structure just to make things easier. So that way we know where everything is going to be going. And of course, you're going to need Photoshop 21.2.4. Again, this is still out there and possible. Um, if you need any help, just message me on Patreon or through Twitter and I should be able to help. So with these files on the desktop, obviously we've got the mods folder from the last video. We're going to use these as a continuation throughout the rest of the videos, kind of make things a little bit more uniform and a little bit easier. Um, so the file structure you downloaded, place this also inside of the F1 mods folder. This way it makes it a little bit easier to try and find which driver you want. And then that way when we're going through the files, uh, everything's as it should be. Obviously it's very key that the everything's exactly the same. So in our case, obviously we're going to do Pierre Gasly's helmet for today as it's i've already got one pretty much loaded up ready to go if you open up the helmet template that we downloaded for those who aren't familiar with how these work i'm going to go over them just a little bit just to make things a little bit clearer so you need to make sure you have the right version of photoshop if you can move the 3d object around perfect if not then you're going to need a different version if you haven't got 21.2.4 now as you can see we're able to move it around in the 3D space pretty well. And on the right hand side, obviously, we've got a few things to obviously work with in terms of the layers. Uh, the layers themselves are separated into basically just one. Ignore the things that I've got included here. These are obviously from past helmets like Ollie Behrman's and uh, obviously this one from Liam. So what we're going to want to do to open this up, we're going to double click here. If it comes up with any messages to say, hey, uh, do you want to transform it into this? Just click yes. And then you're loaded into this. Another way to check, make sure you're good to go on this UV option here on the right hand side. Sometimes it will not be there. If it's not there, again, your version is not the correct one. Um, but as you can see with the wireframe initially for those keen eyed among you, the wireframe is not very good. We have obviously got three different files included here. We've got the mask, we've got essentially the spec map and obviously the base default texture. Now, when saving these later on, we're just going to use these two and we'll worry about uh, the spec map at a later date because again like every other game it's a bit convoluted on how we get it to work how we want however so with these three files these three files are ready to go uh, again there's a few ways you can obviously design your helmet and in many ways you can edit it again the issue being the uv map isn't great uh, the way it curves upwards instead of being almost like a long rectangle image does mean it is a little bit tricky to get things working uh, properly so there's obviously a few ways you can edit this which again i'll show off to you now just to cover off bases you can just create a new layer in the texture and then you can then just paint on what you want to kind of get an idea of the outlines the design and uh, how you want to do it obviously through the seam so there's an invisible seam down the middle of this helmet by painting it like this um you're able to then obviously transfer that directly onto it now obviously if you were to do it manually due to how the uh, the uv is and the wireframe it's not going to come out exactly how it would look in here based off of like this for example uh, it's a lot more stretched out than it would appear to be on the uv due to obviously how this is mapped out so something to bear in mind when designing this obviously it's better to uh, paint on things just to kind of get like a guideline and then from there you can obviously do uh, the second thing that i'm going to show you is like merging down layers so for example with we'll take this bear and what we'll do is we'll position it roughly about where we want on the helmet make sure we've obviously got a new layer and the textures right click and you're going to want to merge down and then what that does is it basically stamps it onto the 3d object with minimal issues sometimes you may have to tidy up a few of the seams if it's over the front or the back but generally it's quite a good way of doing it but um in terms of this um obviously i'm just gonna 
not spend a lot of time making like a brand new helmet because that, there's there's no point. But I think this should be obviously be a good way of showing you how you can get on board with them. And um, you know, the further you figure out, you can see there's a few other areas that need to be done. But generally speaking, uh, the more you spend time in this, the more you'll figure out where certain bits need to be and certain bits have to be edited. Again, just for whatever reason, like here, you can see the dark blue bits on the right hand side. They obviously need to be painted, otherwise it'll be the inside of the helmet where these little holes are, where these little gubbins are, especially where like the little vents are. The vents is another tricky area, which you can see separated, like middle top right as well as uh, middle bottom left. It's very weird design um, that they put the vents here as opposed to other bits, but again, they're not obviously meant to be made by us. And as if by magic, we have loaded the Gasly Spa helmet from 24. Blimey, that seems like a long time ago. Um, so this is the one that we're going to do for the tutorial, just to make life a little bit easier. And again, it saves a lot of time for us as well. So to save these helmets, it's relatively straightforward. We're going to navigate while saving to the location where we saved our structure. So we're gonna go to Characters, Drivers, find our driver, in this case, Pierre Gasly, and open up the textures folder. So to make sure we have the right name, if we click on the texture we want to replace, change our save file to TGA, and then let's say put it on the desktop, for example. This keeps the same name, but also makes sure we're exporting the right way. So for the mask and for the spec map, we're gonna do the same. We're going to click on the file we want to replace, change our file type to TGA, and then save it elsewhere. This way, there's no issues, and we don't make no mistakes when naming it, which can be a little bit tricky in some instances because they're quite random and long names. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create another folder for this. So we've got the Ferrari mock before, we're gonna do uh, driver helmet mock, just for the purposes of this video. You can call it whatever you like, whatever your project is. So now that's good to go. Um, we've got a place obviously to store all of our files later on. Now we're ready to open up Unreal Engine 5.1.1. If you followed from the last video and you have a project created for this, then make sure to open that. If you don't, I'm going to play the footage from the last video explaining how to get everything set up so we can actually use this and make the modded files. So now we are in here, there's a few things we're going to need to do. First things first, down here is your content drawer. This is what's going to be really crucial for when we start importing folders, files and cars. But before we do that, we've got a few things we need to adjust in this first so in unreal but compared to last game it does things slightly differently rather than just the u asset file and then using a different program to package it this time you pack it inside of unreal to enable some of the settings we need to go to edit editor preferences now you can scroll up and look for these the easiest way of doing it i find is just to search so if you type in allow we're going to need to allow chunk id assignment Make sure that's ticked to true. Then we can close this. Now into project settings. Once again, search to make your life a little bit easier. Type in use pack file. Make sure that that is also ticked. And then also type in IO to make sure that use UIO store is on. Is generate chunks. Make sure that is also turned on. That's quite crucial for this whole process. The next thing in build configure, make sure you change that to shipping. And then the last thing we're going to do, if you type in cook in packaging advance is the second one cook everything in this project content directory make sure that is ticked now you're good to go okay so now we are all set up we are ready to go so we've opened up the content drawer and what we're going to do is we're going to probably split the screens here just to make things a little bit easier so we can follow along with both so what we're going to do before we had cars team cars team cars 24 etc inside of the content folder we're going to then make a new folder this time it's going to be called characters and again, we're going to follow the name and the file structure as on the right hand side. We can delete the cars folder because we no longer need that. So inside of the characters folder, we're going to create the drivers folder. And inside of here, we're going to create our driver name, capital for first name and last name. And then if you wanted to just copy and paste it just to make sure then by all means you can. Inside of the driver name folder, you're going to put textures. And this is where we're going to drag our three new textures that we have. And then once they're in Unreal Engine, so we're going to make sure that all three of these are selected. Then we're going to go right click and go asset actions and then assign to chunk. This is going to be chunk five, which is make sure it's got the biggest priority that we have. Once we've done that, we're going to double click at the bottom and click save selected. Now with these all selected, we're going to go at the top and we're going to click platforms, windows, package project. And then we're going to navigate to our mock folder. And then once this is done, it's going to take a while depending on how many times you've done this before. Um, it can take a little bit of a minute. So I'm going to skip. From when it's done and almost immediately we are back it's ready to go for us and it's all done if you navigate through the file into our project name 
content packs and then you can see we've got a, a bunch of zero and a bunch of five we're going to delete everything apart from the ones with five we don't need those so with these what we're going to do we need to rename all three of them and at the end of them you're going to need to do underscore p otherwise they will not work it's very crucial that we make sure we do that uh, now simple we just put them into our game directory if you know where that is perfect if not um you can find out through steam open up f1 manager go through content packs to where all these are located and you just paste it at the bottom then we're ready to launch f1 manager and i'm probably gonna have to load like a random bahrain race just to try and get uh, in game and almost immediately you can see young pierre gasly is bobbing down the pit lane with his wolverine helmet from spa so it's really simple and streamlined once you get used to the file structure i think that's probably the biggest thing to get over and um you know naming everything correctly once that's done it's a really easy process and then another thing that you might find issues with in terms of time is just how long it takes to bake the project and stuff like that but um i hope this has been helpful i hope it's really simple again i think if you are struggling Maybe watch both videos and try and find out the area you're struggling, compare both, see if you're doing something different across both of them. Um, I knew a fresh video is probably easiest to understand and try and find any issues that you're having. So if you do have any issues, please make sure to um, message in the comments. I'll try and get to it as best as I can, as well as um, if you want to message me directly via Twitter or Patreon, um, I'll help where possible. Uh, regarding certain things i'm building out the discord server so hopefully that will have all the resources and help and one-to-one -one things at some point that can also be accessed through the patreon but i hope you have enjoyed the video guys if you have make sure to slap a like on it and subscribe and there'll be a few more of these coming i think it'll be race suits and team stuff coming next but until then guys take care bye bye